Hey, I'm Melissa. When life hits us with unexpected pain or loss, it's natural to look for someone to blame. And sometimes that someone is God. But is it really fair or right to blame God when things go wrong? When we're hurting, it's easy to feel like God's the one behind our suffering. But let's pause for a second and think about who God really is. To blame is to find fault with something or someone. Yet the Bible tells us that God is good, loving, and just. God is faultless and blameless. He cares for us and has righteous purposes. But here's the thing. God does allow us to go through hard times and conflicts and allows us to feel the consequences of our mistakes or the mistakes of others. These trials can help lead us to positive life changes and healthy personal development. And while that can be confusing or even frustrating, we need to remember that God sees the bigger picture. He knows where our lives are leading us and has sovereignty over the events around us. He's with us in our pain, even when we don't understand why it's happening. In the book of Job, we see a man who lost everything, his children, his wealth, his health. And in his pain, Job did question God. For sure, he wanted to know why this was happening. We do that too, don't we? He didn't understand why God allowed such suffering in his life. And even though Job was going through the worst possible circumstances, he never turned his back on God. He didn't blame God. He knew God was in control, and that's completely different. Blaming God for our problems might seem like an easy answer, but it can lead us down a path of bitterness and distance from Him. Instead, God invites us to bring our questions, our hurts, and even our anger to Him. Even psalmists and prophets did that in the Bible. Proverbs 18.10 tells us the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Psalm 23 is an entire love song about how God will bring us through the darkness and into His peace and righteousness. He's big enough to handle our frustrations, our cries, and our screams. He won't be hurt by your questions, and He will never, ever leave you. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. James 1, 12. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We answer questions like this every day, so head over to fordsolfteens.org to ask your own spiritual questions.